Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is Refuge from Narcissism. And this refugee video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous. And this is, again, my story. So last we spoke, I told you some good things had happened in in my life uh, in regards to the channel. And they they surely did and there's a lot of speculation to where I was what happened you know I'm not gonna go into all the details okay uh, some people think um, uh, meat died no no he's he's alive and well he's alive and well and and quite angry to be to be quite honest with you as is everybody up in up in new jersey from my old life um they are they are quite quite angry bitter and um i'm gonna tell you why <laughs> so you know because of the work i have done on this channel and the amount of videos you know it was recognized and you know and i said is recognized by a lot of people and some things were made available to me and I was able to pay off all of my child support, every dime of it, everything from when I had lost my job, all that. I'm not going to give you an exact amount, but it's five digits, five digit amount. <clears throat> Paid in full. <laughs> I just say like, because I knew what that represented, and any man who's been in this situation, and you understand what a burden that is, what a monkey that is, what a it's a stranglehold on your life. They own you. <clears throat> they own you. They don't care about your situation if your situation changed. They don't care that you were fired unjustly. They don't care. Fuck you, pay me. Fuck you, pay me. Fuck you, pay me. And they keep compounding interest upon interest upon interest. It is what it is. It's the price of getting divorced. But they don't care. They don't care if you're alienated. They don't care if you talk to your child. They don't care about any of that. Fuck you, pay me. And as long as there's an amount out there, okay, that you owe back in arrears or you owe anything, well, then you're a deadbeat and you're the victim. And I'm the victim. And I'm this single mother and everybody else has to boo-hoo-hoo. Even though you know it's not true, even though you're doing everything you can to give every freaking dime you can, even though your your taxes are getting taken every year and going up there, but it ain't enough to cover it. <clears throat> and you finally get to a point where you're able to start paying again, paying again. Okay, but that does nothing for what's already owed behind you. That just keeps compounding, compounding, compounding. And to them up there, that's funny. That's control. That's what they want. It's not about the money. It's about the control. Charlene warned me seven months ago when uh, Aaron called me. <clears throat> I thought it was, you know, trying to re re repair the relationship. Or... And it took me a good five months to realize she just wanted to shove a car in my face. And to act like that don't hurt, that hurts. That's what hurts worse than, than any of this, is having to accept 
that. That after about two and a half, three years of not even speaking to her, she only called me to shove a car in my face. And I was just too stupid to say it. Like, you know, not stupid. God, I sound just like her. I sound just like my mother. Desperate, I guess, for a relationship with her, but it's not going to happen. But I did say on a video at one, or I said it to her too. I'm like, don't ignore me now and then come at me when, when I, then come at me when I have, when I'm broke, you know, don't not have anything to do with me when I'm broke. But then when I have, don't come at me when I finally, when, when, when things change. So, after paying everything off, you know, with a cashier's check and had to go down to Miami because that's where my child support case originated in Florida when I moved down here because I originally moved to, uh, to Miami-Dade. So, it's uh, Miami-Dade child support offices, which is a different entity than the rest of the state for whatever reason. They're their own entity so they have to do it a little differently and unfortunately state offices are still fucking around down here where like state workers still acting like not acting like because we all know covid and corona is real and it's gonna kill everybody but for some reason they're the only ones that's not open to full capacity okay so the only thing that's that is open to full capacity it is was was the uh was the cashier's office where you can where you go and you can pay your child support and pay whatever back and um <laughs> i was shaking filling out the slip like is this real like i literally Teared up when I got the cashier's check in my hand in, in in Wells Fargo. Like this is really happening, and uh, I'm shaking. I'm just like, oh my god, right in that amount what you're paying. <laughs> you writing right in that amount what you're paying. And you're going up there and you're half thinking like, are they going to call security? <laughs> like, like, no way. <laughs> like, no way. And you hand this, you got to hand them the slip first because, you know, there's like a window where you, they want the slip because of, so you got to put that because the cashier is where they open the drawer or whatever else. And he looked at it and he looked at the amount and I'm just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I held up and I held it up. And he's like, it <laughs> opened up, put the thing, vroom, does his thing, out pops the the receipt, hands comes through. I just look at it and take a deep breath. And he pulled his mask down. He goes, you got to be smiling from ear to ear under there because you still have to wear a mask and stay at offices down here. And he's like, and he goes, you're free, brother. <laughs> Just like that. He goes, you're free. <laughs> he's like, free? He's like, what? They like hear from behind me. There's these dudes, you know, a couple dudes online. The guy's like, what? That was your last one? <laughs> I go, I go, yep, that's it. He goes, he goes the guy cashier was like that's it he's done he goes you don't know nothing so he's like you're the king he goes you're the king today i'm like god damn right god damn right i <laughs> having that freedom back is I, I i can't like i can't even just i can't put it into words but 
but imagine being my ex-wife living in a house on the New York skyline a house that you haven't you haven't paid a mortgage for the better part of 10 years to maybe in the 10 years since our divorce was finalized, okay? She's maybe made 14 payments in 10 years. Meanwhile, that massive check that I had to pay her for all that back child support was accruing on a child support agreement that was her supposed to be paying $3,000 worth of mortgages that she wasn't paying. And all that had to be paid as if she was paying. And do I get that back? Nope. <clears throat> Who's deadbeat now? So you're sitting there in this house making $100,000 a year with free benefits from the state of New Jersey because you're NJEA teaching Zoom, teaching over Zoom the first graders, okay? Having my father make every decision for her in her life, backing up anything she does, okay? My mother's out of the picture. You don't have to deal with that chaos anymore, okay? So now everybody has access to my parents' money because now my mother's not there to stop anybody from doing anything they want. Okay, so that's how that, that rolls. And then on a random Wednesday in, in, in early March, early to mid-March, you get a five-digit payment in your bank account. What will your reaction be? Yeah, you'd be pretty happy. You'd be pretty pleased. Like, oh, wow. Not them. They're angry. They're pissed. <laughs> They're pissed. They're pissed. Obsessed to where it came from. Obsessed with it. Trying to figure out, oh, must have been Charlene. Must have. No. Because I realized, you know, the reality is worse for it. The, the reality of it is worse because the reality is this happened because of their dysfunction. This all happened because of them. My brother calling me a loser, telling me that this channel was useless, that it was just me bitching on the internet to a bunch of other losers that nobody cared about. Laughing, gaslighting, telling everybody what a loser I am, what I'm delusional. Telling stories on the internet, making up stuff, which anybody who knows them knows I'm not. What now? Because obviously it was not about the money. It never was about the money. I mean, they're proving that. It ain't about the money. No, no, because not only was I able to take care of every, uh, take care of my parental obligations, okay? I have just, before my daughter turned 18, before she even graduated high school, it's all paid in full. I have wiped out an entire narrative of I'm lazy, I'm a loser, I don't give a fuck. I just abandoning her. 
I abandoned my responsibility. Clearly not. Nothing made me feel more of a, like a man in the last fucking 10 years, okay, than taking care of that obligation. Nothing. Anybody who's been through this understands exactly what I'm talking about. They're mad. They're trying to figure out a narrative. Them and my haters. <laughs> like, what? Like, it got out quick with them. They, they must still chat on the phone constantly when my with me. I mean, that's the that's the sad thing. Understand some when you see something online, it isn't me. It's one of his minions who talks to who he talks to on the phone. <sighs> Nothing's worse than you taking care of all your obligations, the things that they hold over your head, the things that they told you you were fucked up over. That isn't going to make them respect you. That isn't going to make anything change. Hell no. The only thing they want is for you to come back on your hands and knees, crawling to them, groveling at their feet. That's what they want. This is the worst thing that could have happened to them. The worst thing. How sad is that? How sad is that for Aaron? The girl is going to be 18 in exactly two months. And this is what she's been raised by. This is what her thought pattern is going to be. This is what she's going to think is acceptable freaking behavior. And I know what they're going to, like, in their mind... What, 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 what do you say? Oh, what am I supposed to click call you up and thank you for paying what you were supposed to do? You could say, yeah, thank you for taking care of your obligation. Thank you for doing what you did, however you did it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think a thank you is, is in order. Because there's plenty of people who never pay it, who don't want to pay it and never will. But they understand. They understand what the reality is. The reality is all this was made possible because they're so fucked up. And it validates it. Before my daughter even turned 18, I turned the whole thing around. <clears throat> and I have a lot of people to thank for that. A lot of people to thank for that. But it was recognized the work that goes into this channel to produce the amount of content I've produced. Not even talk, I'm talking about what I've deleted just to just to stay just to stay afloat. Okay. And if you see what's going on now with the canceling everybody, I mean it is nuts. It is nuts with everybody getting canceled. So, I've had to accept that, you know, the relationship with Aaron is probably irreparably damaged. Because the reality is, I mean, how do I even trust what she would... What, I can't emotionally really trust myself with her because I don't see it. Charlene told me, like, she's just rubbing that car in your face. I, I didn't see it. I wouldn't see it. It's tough, man. It's tough because, you know, I love that kid so much. And she doesn't understand. And I think she does understand it.
but it's it's been a blessing because at least I feel like I got some closure out of it now. You know, I know now. And, um, you know, I went and I reread the original divorce arrangement as well. And <laughs> funny thing is there's a clause in there where I have the right to seek the sale of the house because the house was underwater when, when we got the divorce. So both of us have an equal right to try to sell the house. Now, she doesn't have to necessarily go along with it. Okay, but with Aaron turning 18 in two months, there's no, there's nothing in there about when the house has to be sold or how long they have to. There's no distinct, there's no clause in there that says that she has to stay in that house for any period of time. I thought there was. There's not. So now when I'm getting these calls from people looking to make a cash offer on the house, I'm going to start entertaining them at this point. Why not? Why not? I got to clear up, like I got to clearing up everything I possibly can. Bottom line, everything I possibly can get cleared up, I'm clearing up. Okay. And the last two and a half, three weeks, it's just been, it's just been nice. It's been, you know, me and Charlene taking care of some stuff, you know, spending time doing a lot of thinking, you know, where I want to go with the channel, what I want to do with it. And I'm going to stick with what works, reading stories. I've still been taking Skypes, obviously. Uh, for those of you who have been asking about Skypes, I've been, I've still been setting up, setting up Skypes and phone calls as well. Um, the queue hasn't necessarily grown uh, very much at all. So, I still want to grow that. I mean, there's only seven, like six or seven stories in there. It's like maybe a half a day's work. It's nothing. Um, so, and again, if you need a sponsor, just say it at the top of the at the top of the email. I got plenty of sponsorships at this point. Believe me, okay. If you don't have a lot to to send it in with a small contribution, okay, I can supplement for 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 quite some time. Okay, I just want to get the content. I want to get the queue built and the content and the content flowing. And uh, so <clears throat> back on a positive note, you know, I've also been looking for the right car. I've known the car like I've wanted for a long time. I mean, I've been in love with this car and it's just, you know, it's not a... Uh, it's nothing, nothing that fancy or anything. It's not, you know, it, 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 it's not. But it's the car of the heart of my heart and heart, my heart of hearts I have been dying for for 10, 15 years. You know, I've been dying for one of these cars. So tomorrow I'm going to, there wasn't many around. You know, I was looking on Carvana and I'm like, ah, just go through the dealership. So I went to a couple of dealers. Dodge dealerships, they're getting a shipment of them tomorrow. Like, so I'm going to have like 20 to 25 to choose from. I'm definitely going to find, I think, the one I want. I saw one of them on online. And if it's what it says it is, that's the car I'm getting without question. Without question. Um, and I'll obviously make you guys a part of that when that happens as well. The bottom line is this. There is no price you can pay that will make the narcissist respect you, that will make the narcissist, you know, give up their quest to destroy you. They'd rather the control over your life than the money. Think about that. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm not a special case. I'm not. That's the way it is for all of us. A lot of times it's not about the money with the narcissist. The money is the control. 
It's about the control. The money is the tool for the control. And sure, they want the money and they like the money, but they would rather have the control than the money every time. You can't win with somebody like that. Ever. When somebody would rather have control than money, <clears throat> control over you anyway. How much you can do with that. So that's what's been going on. So I expect to be <clears throat> making videos again by April 1st not April Fool's, but around there, April 1st, April 2nd. Um, I'm hopefully, hopefully be able to get the car this week. And once I do, that will be probably my next video. So, <clears throat> I want to thank everybody for all your support, your patience, for your comments, your concerns, the people. <clears throat> who have had my back for a very long time, for many years, to the people who defend me in the comments, who try to take on these haters, these people who have made defense videos for me, I appreciate it. I do, I do, even though I don't say because I don't wanna give them too much, too much, too much light. You know, I always try to ignore it, but thank you to everybody who made this happen. Okay, because you guys validated me here. <clears throat> All this is possible because you guys put your trust in me, your 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 belief in my in in what I do here. You guys value my opinion. You value my thoughts, and, and, and I understand that. So that validates me. And what has happened, the fact that I have been able to basically wipe out the last 10 years and validate everything through this channel, through everything I have been working on since, <clears throat> when did I post, when did I post phone call with Narcissistic Mother? First posted, I think it was 20, the end of 2012. So I guess the better part, almost nine years. slow build it always has been so thank you to everybody and uh i'll see you all real soon i'm ollie matthews this has been refuge from narcissism take care everybody